Right. I'm Nick Sanders, I'm here with Clint Lyon with CrossFit Soul. We're going to put together a shoulder mobility and stability series um, for us to do before our CrossFit workouts, try to keep our shoulders in as healthy position as we can. So the first exercise in this series is going to be shoulder bilateral external rotation. Clint's going to start with a good brace core, he's going to exhale, he's going to squeeze his abs holding the rib cage down. Neck is going to be in a neutral chin pack position. He's going to maintain that position throughout the movement. Palms are going to be up, elbows are going to be at the side. He's going to squeeze his shoulder blades together, retracting the scapulas as he externally rotates at the shoulder. So we're going to get good core stability, some scapular retraction while we get some rotator cuff work here. Okay, From the back, so we can see his, sh his shoulder blade retraction, same brace position. You can see the scapulas coming together as he maintains a nice neutral spine position. Next exercise is going to be banded pull aparts. Clint's going to start with the same good neutral spine position, belly's tight, rib cage is pulled down, neck is in a neutral chin pack position. Arms are going to come up to the side. He's going to squeeze the shoulder blades back as he pulls the band apart. We're trying to drive this motion with the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades are coming together, the hands are following. So we're initiating this movement with scapular retraction. From the back, same thing, you'll see him initiate the movement by squeezing the shoulder blades together while he maintains a neutral spine. Again, eight to 10 reps. Next exercise is gonna be scapular push-ups or scapular protraction and retraction. Clint's gonna start in a good push-up position, tall plank position. Shoulders are externally rotated, elbows are locked out. He's in a nice hollow position with the rib cage pulled down, glutes are squeezed tight. He's gonna then protract the shoulders coming down and up. He squeezes the shoulder blades together. Rolls them around the side, protracting, pulling the back up. As he goes through this, he's putting a good effort to maintain that neutral spine, not letting his spine fall into extension as he maintains the hollow. Same deal, let's try eight to 10 reps. Next exercise in the, in the series is gonna be PNF lifts. Clint's gonna take the band, palm turned down. He's gonna rotate the thumb up and back, externally rotate as he pulls the band in that top position. Let's practice our snatching mechanics with that elbow high and outside as we flip and turn the band over. In that top position, we're looking for that scap to be retracted and elevated into that shoulder pack position. Okay? You can also add a variation here and do some shoulder circles in that top position. So once you're in there, hold your scap in the position, do some easy circles, five in, five out. Um, just trying to work that overhead position. To finish off the series, we're gonna do 30 seconds in the tall plank. Clint's gonna work those perfect top plank push-up push position. He's holding the hollow, rib cage is pulled down, glutes are squeezed tight, um, elbows are pointing forward, externally rotating through the shoulder, creating good tension, holding that top position for a full 30 seconds.